ASM Lib, I have to have a, a whole section on this. The ASM library is something there's quite a lot of discussion about in the ASM community at the moment, whether you should use it or not. What happens is or when Oracle first wrote ASM, treating it as though it were a file system, they wrote a kernel library that would let the operating system understand ASM. And the idea was that just as there are kernel libraries to understand NTFS, or EXT3, or HP Quick IO, you know, every file system manufacturer writes a kernel library. Veritas have a kernel library for their file system. So Oracle wrote a kernel library to let, oper to let operating systems understand ASM. And Oracle distributed it to all the operating system manufacturers and said, here's our kernel library, please distribute it. And of course, none of them did. And for that reason, the ASM library it's very useful, but it's available only for Linux, because, of course, Oracle can do what it likes with Linux. And a Oracle did persuade the major Linux distributors to include ASM lib with all the version 5 distributions. And so Red Hat 5 will include the ASM library. However, with version 6, you do not get the ASM library with Red Hat anymore. I'm not going to comment on whether I believe this is because Red Hat didn't want to distribute it, or because Oracle didn't want to give it to them. But one way or another, with version 6 of Linux, you will only get the ASM library if you have an ent Oracle Enterprise Linux distribution, which is perhaps annoying. But mm. if you do have the ASM library, it does make your administration considerably easier, yeah, but only in the Linux environment. The alternative is to use the UDEV mechanism within Linux. The issues we have here are to do with device naming, device persistence, and permissions. As I mentioned earlier, we can't have devices changing their names every time Unix boots. And we can't have the permissions changing from Oracle to root. Otherwise, ASM won't be able to read the devices. So should you choose to use ASM, well, I'll go to an instance where I do have the ASM lib configured. Once again, change my font. Right. Is the ASM library configured at all? Well, USR, and in the SBIN directory, if the ASM library has been available, there will be a utility called Oracle ASM. And there we see that on this version, Oracle ASM is enabled. And there the interesting information, Oracle ASM admin. What this means is that whenever Linux boots, the kernel modules will be loaded, and ASM, the ASM library, will then take control of identifying the devices and setting the permissions. And that is why I can go to dev sd star, and we see these devices remain owned by root. How is that possible that Oracle can then use them? Because the ASM lib presents the, which runs as a root owned module, of course, presents them through to the ASM with appropriate ownerships, which are those. So we get around this issue of device drivers being owned by root. The alternative approach, well, I suppose we can take a bit further. Let's, what time? Yes, we do just about have time. If we look at the other commands, what are the disks? The disks we have available are these things called LUN, LUN1 through to LUN5. Well, what are those things? If we were to run one more command, which will be the query disk command. And choose just one of these. Now, what is in fact LUN3? So LUN3 is what's being presented to ASM, and that will be owned by Oracle. But in fact, LUN3 doesn't exist because of a spelling mistake. There we go. LUN3 is, in fact, device number 849. What's device 849? There it is. It's dev SDD, SDD1. So that's how ASM lib maps physical devices onto logical names. It's these logical names that are then presented through AS, to ASM, and ASM will then format disk groups onto them. The alternative approach is, however, to use UDEV, and that I did here. Uh, this, by the way, is where I will I can to a great extent in our system administrators. You have to cooperate to the system administrators, more of that later on. And if we look at the UDEV, there's these notes, proper ownership, the ownership there is owned by Oracle. And in the UDEV environment, I had to create some simple rules. There it 
correct. Yes, there are the rules files I created. And these rules take care of device ownership and naming device ownership. And the rule I created here was very, very simple. All I'm saying is on boot up, find this device driver and change the ownership. And our system administrator would scream at me for doing this because the moment we have new disk, we might find these device names changing. And this is a lot of more complex setup, but it works for this environment. I just want to em emphasize that use of ASM lib is optional. There is an alternative, which many people prefer.